By the middle of this decade, our annual spending will match our annual revenues. We will not be adding more to the national debt. If you're not well versed in the language of the inner workings of the budget, that's what's called a blatant lie. So let's remove all the guesswork of the back and forth of the new and fancy proposals thrown around from both sides and put the Obama plan for America in perspective. The worst year of George W. Bush's presidency featured a deficit of $458 billion in the midst of the financial crisis. In comparison, the best year of the Obama administration, even if he was reelected and served two terms, is projected to be $607 billion of deficit. In other words, Obama's best year is 33% worse than Bush's worst year. But this is about perspective, not the blame game. So let's just blame all of these deficits on Bush. Let's convict him on every count of the evil crime of letting you keep your own money. And let's assume Obama finally gets rid of those Bush tax cuts and spends his entire presidency as an economic repair man. And it takes all the way to 2015 to get the job done. Look what happens after the deficit hits its minimum in 2015. Every year after that, it's higher and it keeps increasing until 2021 when estimates stop. If this guy is gonna fix our problems, why is he leaving us with the deficit going in the wrong direction? We're not gonna be running up the credit card anymore. Obama can brag about his credit card all he wants, but have we learned enough about subprime credit risks in the last few years to know one when we see one?